YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. And you might be wondering, why is that guy using one inline skate and one quad skate? Well, here's what's going to happen today. I'm gonna tell you the main differences between these two. And after this video, you are going to be able to choose between inline or quad skates. If you're thinking of starting to skate, this is a video for you. If you already skate and you still want to know the differences, this video is also for you. But before I start talking about the differences, let me just tell you, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you're wondering what Skillshare is, well, Skillshare is the online learning platform where you can basically learn everything. On the past couple of months, I've done a couple of Skillshare sponsored videos and I always advise you to go check one of their courses. Today, I'm going to advise you to check the 15 days beginner yoga course with AB Carver. I've been having a little bit of back pain and I just checked that there's this new course, this like 15 days course for like beginners, just like me. So. I'll report back to you how did that go in one month from now. So here's what you gotta do. If you wanna check this yoga course or any other course on Skillshare, you press on that link in the description and the first thousand people to press on that link will have access to a Skillshare premium membership. Now, thank you Skillshare for this video and now let's get back to skates. So let me just get a couple of skates so I can talk a bit more about this. One, two, three, and four. That's good. So right here, I got completely different skates. As you can see, I already have two completely different skates on my feet and I got two more roller skates. One that is trying to move away from here. Shouldn't go anywhere, huh? You stay. And then I got two more inland skates. These are all completely different skates, but they somehow, they all have something in common, which is having wheels. And I'm a wheel addict, so I use all of them. But by looking here, you see two completely different things. And that's where the main difference starts. So when you have a pair of inline skates, the, one of the main differences is the wheelbase lengthwise. Inline skate, the front and the back wheels are usually f way more far apart than on the quad skates. And what happens with that is like by having the wheels a lot more far apart, you will have a bigger base to balance. So it's usually easier to stand up and then roll in a more balanced position on an inline skate. And now you might be wondering, what about these? That's why inline skates are usually way more stable than quad skates. So if you look at something like these, do you really think that this could work as, a, as an inline skate? It wouldn't because your foot would just go to the side like and that's why like usually you have something like this this is a hard boot or even like the one that i have here or even when you have a skate like this one that just came out all carbon but even the front piece that will still allow you to do the movement but it won't allow you to just bend your ankle because you need that support on inline skates so by now you know two of the biggest differences are the wheel length, the wheelbase in length, and how supportive the boot are. Now, there's also something completely different, which is not just the wheel length, but the wheel width. So, quad skates are obviously way more stable when it comes to turning your foot to one side, or to the other. They have trucks and all that, but if you're one of those super scared of bending your foot, well, as I said, you should have like a stable boot, but on quad skates, because you have two wheels that are usually far apart, like some of them even more far apart than others, they will give you the stability that you want. Then you can have a skate like this. So you do not need such a supportive boot and that's the third difference now something that can usually be a problem too is quad skates because of the wheel width being a bit 
wider, but also the wheels are usually wider. Because on inline skates, you only have a very narrow line touching the floor. And on quad skates, you have a lot more surface touching the ground. There are some that are wider, some that are slimmer. They are always wider than inline skates. And other than that, there's two. There's two wheels plus other skate, then there's four. So if you're going to add all the distance or all the space of the wheel width, you're gonna have something like this on the ground every time. If there's a little stone, if there's a little something, let me just try to get something here. So check this out. If there's a little stone on the ground, with inline skates, very easily you miss it. Or because of the shape of the wheel, even if you touch it, it tends to go to the sides. Now, with roller skates, a lot of times what happens is that you get stuck. Not only you have a lot more surface touching the ground at the same time, but because of the shape of the wheel, a lot of time you really get stuck. So in that sense, it could be a bit more dangerous. Now, for this reason, I usually say that if you are going to be rolling in a very, very smooth surface, like a rink or something, for sure, these would work wonders. Now, of course, there's a lot of street skaters, including myself, that sometimes just skate in the street, skate rails, skate stairs. And of course, you can use quad skates. You can use all of that, just like you can skate on the rink with inline skates. There's not a specific type of skate that can only be used in a certain surface. But if you are starting, you will enjoy the quad skates a lot more in a very smooth surface. But at the same time, if, you, if, you, if you're gonna be using it for fitness, for long distances that you can't really control the environment, inline skates might be easier for you. Now, another thing, which is the fifth difference, that would be the brakes. They're completely different. Check this out. One has the brake in the front, the other one has the brake in the back. The type of movement that you need to do with your body to break, they're both completely different. Of course, on the, on the inline skate, you're just rolling forward. Usually you have one brake only. It means that one foot rolls backwards and the other one goes forward. And the foot that goes forward, you bring the toes up and that's usually the foot that breaks. That's how you break with inline skates, like you see it on this video. Now, with quad skates, you do have one brake on each skate, meaning that you have two brakes, and you don't usually go forward and press like this because otherwise you just fly. The way for you to use these brakes is you need to turn around and then when going backwards, you use it. You can then brake with one or with two brakes, but you need to learn how to turn. So to use the brakes that come on the skates, and not every inline skate come with brakes, quad skates, most of them come with brakes, but you can also take them out if you want. Now, it's a lot more common to use the brakes on quads than it is to use with inline skates. Beginners will still use it, but once people start getting more into the skating, a lot of the inline skaters don't like to use the brakes, while quad skaters, even if they're super advanced, a lot of them really use the brakes. So that is it. I guess these are the five main differences between quads and inline skates. And now just as a bonus, of course, the skates also turn completely different. Like, Inline skates, what you have here is that there's four wheels in a line and there's no way for when you apply pressure, there's nothing that will happen. It's basically you need to have your foot and your body in the right position and know what to do for them to turn. Now on quad skates, all you need to do is actually to apply pressure on a certain side. And when you apply pressure, these things, the trucks, what's going to happen is if I apply pressure on this side, they are going to do these and that will make them turn. It's just like having a steering wheel. On inline skates, it's a little bit trickier, but that will be something for another video. So yeah, here you go. Five plus one main differences of quad and inline skates. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very simple, very basic one, but I really hope it helped you choosing how you want to start skating. And if it did, I really hope you to subscribe to this channel because in this channel, this is what I do. I make lots of videos like from tutorials to sessions, just skating with my friends. And I try to get more people on skates and I hope you're one of those. And 
Again, if you also enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down, but drop me a comment and let me know what you didn't like about this video. If you like it, you can also drop me a comment and let me know that because I really appreciate it. And other than that, just like I say in every single video, just don't ever, like ever, ever forget why we all started skating and that, that is because it's fun. Now, cheers and see you soon. I'm going to go skate with these things. Woo-hoo-hoo! You got a little longer, so tell